So this is the third time the Supreme Court has heard a major challenge to the Affordable Care Act. Back in 2012, the court upheld the, the, a challenge to the constitutionality of uh, what's known as the mandate, the requirement that people either have insurance or pay a penalty. Um, it's never uh, a sure thing to predict how a Supreme Court case is going to come out, but it sure sounded like from the argument today that there were at least five votes to say that even if the mandate is now unconstitutional, that the rest of the law should still remain intact. Uh, the mandate is essentially toothless right now because there's no penalty attached to it. But if the court were to buy into the broader argument that Texas and the administration make, well, the mandate being so central to the law's passage in the first place, that without the mandate, the rest of the law also should fall, including protections for people with pre-existing conditions, the subsidies to help people afford health insurance, the expansion of the Medicaid program for uh, lower income Americans, that the rest of the law should also fall with it. Now that would be a huge upheaval, and especially in the midst of a pandemic. The ACA is, is kind of like a circuit breaker as far as some of the ill effects of the pandemic for people who've lost their jobs. They have an option, even though they have lost their jobs, to see if they can cobble coverage back together for them and their families. That would go away if the law is repealed in its entirety. Uh, one could argue that if Congress were to reimpose a modest penalty for not having health insurance, the entire case might go away. Now, that might not be very likely to happen, especially if Republicans end up in control of the Senate. But it is a possibility and one that sort of uh, underscores how unusual this, this moment is.